Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Mommy Cass with Mommy Cass's Reborn Baby Nursery. So I am still working on my diamond art. Um, it is a big picture of the birth of Venus. Um, and I will show you how it's coming along because I've worked on it a lot today as well. So uh, basically, so far, this is uh, one side of it like one little side of it and um yeah so it's coming along and then we have two other parts of it and stuff and yeah it's like a lot of fun um so this is my music and arts channel guys and I'm gonna talk about some art stuff that we actually are planning today all right so basically um Good news. Patrick, my friend, surprised me with a gift to kick off our new channel. And he went ahead and purchased for me a tenor ukulele. A tenor ukulele. And it's a... Um, a kit where you put it together yourself. My eyes are red itchy. We put it together ourselves. And I also paint it or decorate it myself. And we have a number of choices and ideas as to um, basically what I'm going to do and how I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to talk about some ideas that I have. And today we're going to talk about ideas as to what... I want it to look like, and then I'm going to fetch all the supplies that it will take to make this ukulele. So that's going to be um, what we're going to do in this episode. Um, it may not be the most, um, because we don't have the thing right now, but I just want to get everything gathered in one spot as to the things I'm interested in doing and getting ready. So I have a few ideas. One of my ideas is I love classic Care Bears, and I was thinking of making a classic Care Bear ukulele. That was one idea I had. Okay. Um, other idea, and so I was gonna, um, I was gonna photocopy off of, um, you know, line online like different pictures of classic Care Bears and just decoupage them, like glue them on, and then do all that stuff. So that was another idea. Um, but my printer is run out of ink and it's just going to be a lot of work. So the other idea I had was that I love dolls. This is a whole crib full of dolls. I make dolls and this is sort of like a dollish type channel. Um, it's more art and, and music, but I still have a lot of people who um, come here to appreciate the doll aspect of my channel. I have more, um, more than one channel, but I'm focusing on growing this one and not posting on the other one right now. So I was thinking of using paper dolls and cutting the paper dolls out and gluing them and decoupaging them onto the ukulele and just painting it and doing all that. So that was another idea. So and the reason why I wanted to do that, and the other idea was to do a landscape of like, you know, a picture of um, some architecture or something like that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to paint like a picture of architecture. The thing is, is that I take a free class called Ukulele Play Along, and I really need the ukulele sooner rather than later. So I'd like to build it and have it ready in a week. That being said, um, I really think it's important that we sort of do something a little more faster. And if I do like a landscape type picture, it's going to take too long. I, I can't do that overnight. If I want to make it look good, it's going to take a long time. So I think for the tenor, I'm just going to, it's a tenor ukulele, 26 inches um, from Amazon. It's a, a kit. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do the paper doll idea and then the next ukulele um, 
that I purchased, which is a $27 kind of 23 inch, then we can take our time with it and, and do like a landscape or some architecture, pretty architecture on it and stuff like that. Uh, so let's go see what I have for those paper dolls. I, I could change my mind. So, you know, we'll see. Um, Okay, so here, here is my, um, from under my bed, the books. And where I got these paper dolls, there was an elderly woman who collected them. And uh, I found them um, secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. So this one's a Barbie one. I don't want that one. Dolly Dingle is very kitschy and kind of cute, and she has, like, all these different, you know, um, <laughs> and, you know, it'd be fun if you could just, like, kind of, like, put, put the clothes next to her all around her or something and decoupage that, um, I just thought that would be fun. Oh, this is cute. It's a doll hospital. That's cute. Or a little hospital. All right. Um, so, I don't know. I think I kind of have mixed feelings about Dolly Dingle, frankly. All right. So, we'll put that to the side. Um, QP is a no. Um, this is a ballerina one. And uh, looking not that great it's not that great it's, I've seen prettier all right this one's Shirley Temple oh. Muppet Babies is a no Victorian Mice um ooh, well first of all look at this isn't that cute that's pretty so these are all like little um things I, I have to say the Victorian mice one is really off. It, it, it's very uh, cute. Like, look at this. This is light pink and black. I, I could just picture myself fo making this, um, this ukulele, um, those two colors, because I do have pink stain. And um, what you do is you, um, I could cut out these two mice and put them on the ukulele and then, put all their accessories like the the mice could be in you know maybe the front of it decoupage or i don't know so we we could also um all right this is room this is ken we're not doing ken okay this one and then we have more dolly dingle um uh let's see I don't know. I, I have to say Dolly Dingle is awfully uh, cute and stuff. Um, I'll try to show you a little bit more. So it's Billy Phillips. And then this is Dolly Dingle, Dingle Dell. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of kitschy. It's kind of fun. It's cute. I think we're going to definitely do Dolly Dingle. Um, she's winning out. But this is, this one is, okay. So when we have Ken, that's an, and Barbie. No. Uh, this one's called the best friends. Um, that's a definite no. Okay. First of all, it's a definite no. Uh, this one's called the um, Alden Family Paper Dolls. Um, these are the kids. And if you put clothes on them, which I would be, um, to add them. I mean, this is kind of, this is kind of retro, okay? I kind of like that um, retro kind of vintage stuff. Um like, okay, first of all, like if you had, 
uh, her holding this dog and stuff or whatever and the other kid I think that would be kind of neat I, I so this one is probably a yes or a maybe um, just because I like the like look at this this vintage sort of thing here that's kind of neat so that's uh, maybe because um, I have to yeah so the rest of these are just Barbie stuff and then there's more Dolly Dingle here. So I, I guess we're going to end up with Dolly Dingle, I think, uh, when it comes down to it. <sighs> I also have, like, a lot of coloring book type things uh, where I could, like, do... Um, transpose the de design from a coloring book and then paint it. Excuse me. I've been up late doing this. I haven't been feeling that great, guys. Um, so this is cute. Um, um, let's see. Stuff with fairies and it, but that's... I don't know. I don't know, this one's more like Christmas or something, so, I don't know. So, I'm putting back. Okay. Alright, so I think we made our choice. So, um, so now I have to figure my color scheme out. Um, so that's another thing. Um, the other option that I was thinking how to decorate is wood burning, but I don't have that those tools so I'm like yeah like um Yeah, and like honestly, there's a cat named Cutie. That's also adorable. Um, Peek Dolly's dog. <laughs> Peek, that's cute. A little dog. Uh, what I like about this is that I'm already like using stuff that I already have, so I don't have to like go out and just like, I don't know. Um, And that's cute. He's playing an instrument or something. Uh, that's that would be neat to have him like. Oh, I'm poor dog. They call him a little dumb friend. <laughs> that's terrible. Um. Yeah, so we're going to go through this stuff. I don't know if um, having, like, random children on the front of my uh, but there's some, like, cute, like, little vintage things here that is, like, you know, kind of neat that you could you know what I mean? So I'm going to definitely consider that. Alrighty. Um, so I don't know the color scheme um, of my project. Oops. Um, I'm assuming 
It's going to be like, like everything's pink for me. Uh, I love pink. Oop. Crop. And bubble. All right, that's good enough, I guess. All right, so I guess that pretty much is on the plan. And now I'm just going to go through and make a decision um, as to which ones I want. Um, um, you know, which ones. Uh, but for now, like, okay, so I'm going to pick something. I'm going to settle on something. Um, like, almost every single picture of her is, like, holding a doll and stuff. And, um, I don't know. So, that's cute, I think. Um... I'm trying to think. Like, even just doing with the kitties, those are cute. That would be cute. Um, have the cats and stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is cute. Um, there's just so many choices. Oh, this reminds me of my friend, Ariana, who rescued a mouse, a field mouse. And then she bought friends for it, and they're not really getting along. <laughs> but they will. I don't know. She needed mice. I feel like she needed them. Uh, I don't really think the mice one is really going to work. But what I do like about it is the fairy stuff. Because I love fairies. I love fairies. Fairies are cute. So, yeah. Oops. Um, let me look in this one, into this one and see what we got. I might stick to, okay, so basically, on um, this is cute. Like, we can, we can cut these. These are, like, little books that you cut and fold. We could cut those out and put them in the dollhouse and stuff. I, I didn't even see those because I have dollhouses, guys. They have tons of these cute little, like, stories that you can fold together and they'll be, like, books. Oh, I love these paper dolls. That's so cool. So what I was thinking is we could stick to a limited color palette. So like what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably do like light pink um, stain and um, and black. So those are probably going to be like my two colors. And um, uh, yeah, so um, just try to see what we've got here. I'm like... Um, and then, so I don't know what else was I was going to say. Um, so yeah, I like to do projects where I can marry two things together. Like, not only will I make it, which is a huge part of things I like to do is building stuff, but also, yeah, we're not using that. Um, Um, but also, it's something that I will be able to practice and play on. So it's very important. It actually sounds good and is playable. So it's really important that I focus on the playability, the sound quality, all of that. Um, um, I'm not, like, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to gather um, the supplies that I'm going to need. Um, just so that, or some of them. I don't know what we're going to find. Uh, <laughs> so we might as well, I'm having a hard time finding the one that I like fell in love with. And then I was like, all right. Um, let's see. Like they just have different color schemes and stuff. Um, All right, so we're going to put these aside now, and I think we've made our decision. 
And then I'm going to move on to picking out the supplies and stuff that we need for when this thing comes, which should be tomorrow when it arrives. So what I need is wood glue. That's one of the things I need. And so that's what we're going to look for. Yay. Um, this is all my art stuff. Um, I'm not very organized. This is not organization show. All my masks, guys. Oh, my God. Look at all these. Some I haven't even worn yet. <laughs> no. People are talking about having a mask burning party because, like, the pandemic was over. Oh, I felt so cynical. I'm like, I'm not getting rid of them because you just never know. I didn't want to jinx it, but I'll tell you what. I was right, unfortunately. Sadly. Sadly. Because now they're talking about bringing them back, possibly, for vaccinated people. Oh, this thing just never ends. is a never-ending pandemic. All right, so I just found the wood glue, which is right here. There's a little bit left, so I'm going to end up having to use tacky glue because I just, I'm not going to be wanting to spend extra money. And tacky glue is, works good, too. So wood glue, tacky glue. Uh, I would recommend wood glue for this project. This is Mod Podge, so this is another one. Um... Uh, so we also have a palette, so that's good. Um, let's see. I'm just getting everything to get pulled together and then starting to have an idea as to what I want it to look like today is my goal. Um. All right, so this is semi gloss. I don't know what this is. Crap. Uh, so I think this is white. So that's. Um, this is oil based polyurethane clear gloss. Perfect. So that's perfect for our project that we're going to be doing. Um, now, remember when you're doing something like this that if you're going to be using a stain, you cannot. Basically, it's not good to use acrylic paint and mix it with uh, polyurethanes. I don't really know how things are going to go if I do decoupage on oil base. That's something I haven't thought of. That's a blue one. No, or everything went. <laughs> All right, this is one of them, and it's this teal color. So that's cool. But I need the pink one. It's a wood stain. Oh, here it is. It's in my face the whole time. This is it. The pink one. Hey, Astral, how are you? This 
So I'm just pulling things out that I need for my next project. We're making a ukulele together. And I haven't decided exactly how, what is going to look like or anything. I feel sick to my stomach, so please excuse me. Oh, what? I must have ate something. Man. Every night, I swear. Whew. All right. No, I did not. I've been sleeping mostly all day. I haven't been feeling that good. I haven't been answering my... I've been barely answering my PMs. I've been trying not to answer them because I just need to rest, but... I figured I ought to come on and do a live because I haven't been on for a while. So we do them every day. Oh God. Oh my God. Stop. I need a basin just in case. I'm going to have to get going Astro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not good. Every day. Gosh, my goodness. Um, if you guys are like, oh my God, are you okay? Yes, I'm just sensitive. That's what's going on. I'm a very sensitive person. I'm fine. Okay. I'm ready to slaw my drink. I had one. I'm going to go watch it right now because... I'm not feeling up to doing the rest of this. I just wanted to keep it short anyway. We, we got a lot accomplished, guys. So now we know the color that our, our ukulele is going to be. We know our color scheme. We also know... Um, I got to go. I'll see you later. <laughs>